Hello aficionados. My name is Dr. Drew Thompson and I am a fish biologist. I'll be showing you how to set up your own killi kit and learn about the biology of your new killifish. Killifish are small, colorful, tropical freshwater fishes that live in small puddles or ponds that dry up during the dry season in Africa and South America. When the puddles dry up, baby killifish survive inside their eggs during the dry season buried in the soil. They can slow down their growth and development with something called diapods that is like a deep sleep that you're going to observe in your own killi kit. When the rains return, the puddle fills with water and the babies hatch from their eggs and begin a new life cycle. Each killi kit comes with everything you need to observe, hatch, and raise your own killifish. Let's take a look inside. Each killi kit comes with an air pump that you're going to be using to hatch killifish food, which we're going to talk more about later. So let's set that aside for now. This is the killi kit itself. In it will be everything you need to hatch and get started with your killifish. Let's take a look inside. Each killi kit comes with peat moss that contains live killifish eggs in their dormant state, which allows you to hatch them out and observe their development as they grow. So those are your actual killifish in this. This is another dormant organism that comes in the killi kit. This is brine shrimp. Sometimes people call them sea monkeys, but we're going to actually hatch these out to feed the, the baby killifish. So you're actually able to look at two different types of organisms inside a killi kit. Each killi kit also comes with, an, with your own smartphone microscopes that hooks up to any smartphone. It's easily adjustable and comes with its own light. And you can use this to observe the larval and embryonic stages of the killifish that come inside your killi kit. You're going to have some pipettes to transfer water and feed your killifish. Some petri dishes, different sizes, so you can look at your killifish up close outside their tank. Airline tubing to hook up the air pump. A paintbrush to clean and manipulate killifish eggs. And then the actual killi kit itself will function as a tank to hatch out killifish. Each killi kit will come with an air pump like this that you can use to hatch out the brine shrimp that you're going to feed to your newly hatched baby killifish. So we set it up like this so it's plugged in. Each killi kit also comes with some airline tubing that plugs into the air pump. And then we're going to put the other end that's not plugged into the pump into a one liter soda bottle that's cut like this. So this is how we make the brine shrimp hatchery. The base is cut off and then the soda bottle is placed upside down in the bottom like this so that it can hold some water. Okay, so we can just use tap water for this so we fill this up. And you want about a half a liter or so in there. For each half a liter we will add one tablespoon of non-iodized table salt. And then we add in about a fourth of a tea teaspoon of the brine shrimp eggs that came with your kit. So these brine shrimp eggs will hatch into shrimp in about 24 hours. And so you have to do this before you're ready to hatch out your killifish, but the other end of the tube goes into the bubbler like this. And then the water uh, maintains its movement and the shrimp will hatch out in about 24 hours that you could feed to your baby killifish. <laughs> 24 hours after setting up this hatchery for the shrimp, remove the airline tubing and let the shrimp settle. What will happen is that the hatched shrimp eggs will float to the surface of the water and the actual shrimp will sink to the bottom of the jar. So then we can use this pipette that comes with the killi kit, reach down to the bottom of the shrimp hatchery, pipette up some of the baby shrimp that you'll see swimming around in there, and then you can feed them to your newly hatched baby killifish. In order to observe your killifish embryos and see how they grow in diapause, you can take them out of the dish that the embryos come in 
they're sitting on top of peat moss. So gently pick them up with a paintbrush and you can transfer them to one of the tiny petri dishes or any smooth, clean surface to observe them. So gently place it in there. And then you can take the smartphone microscope. It works on any smartphone, it goes over the camera lens, and then the light will turn on, batteries are included. And you can use this to get a close-up view of the killifish embryo while it's growing inside the egg. With the smartphone camera, you can easily see movements and heartbeat inside the egg. You will also be able to observe the embryo's eyes. When you see the eyes develop and they become sparkly, you know your killifish are ready to hatch. Looks like this guy's about ready to hatch. When you're ready to hatch your killifish, you're going to need to pick up some tap water dechlorinator that you can get at your local pet or department store. Follow the instructions on this and add it to the water per volume that you're ready to use for your killie kit. When you're ready to hatch your killifish, you're ready to take a little bit of water and add it to the killie kit itself. So when you do this, killifish only like to hatch in a little bit of water, so you only need to add enough water to your killie kit that's about one to two inches full. So really you only want about this much water in your killie kit when you're ready to hatch. Then simply take the entire contents of the killifish embryo container with the dirt or peat moss and all and dump the whole thing into the killie kit. The peat will actually help the killifish hatch so you can leave it in there with them. So then you sit back and wait and within a few hours to a day you'll see the babies start hatching out and scooting around the bottom. At that point the babies are ready to eat and can be fed the live brine shrimp that you hatched for them prior. Here are some fully grown male and female killifish. Can you tell which one is which? There's over 750 species of killifish. Which ones did you hatch? <laughs>